I wake up to the sound of my alarm clock and set it off. Huh? Already morning. Hey, Sayori, wake up. Oh, but I was just getting comfortable. Yeah, so was I. But I know that I gotta make up for yesterday. And I also want to have a conversation with Yuri after we leave. I want to know how she's been doing. I'm sure she would appreciate that. Can I come with you too? Of course. Yay! Where do you want to go? We usually go to my house when we want to have a long conversation. It just feels like the best place for No one can interrupt us there either. And having you there could be a very nice change of pace as well. What will we talk about? Well, if Yuri has something to tell us, then we might as well let her begin. But before all that, I really want to tell you all that Monica wants to say. So let's get going. Okay. Hey guys, we're here. Last ones to come like usual. Hi, Barian. Hi, Sayori. Alright, so I have something very important to say. Yesterday, I thought of an idea that could possibly bring Monica back. Yuri, if you remember the place you showed me, I was affected and could talk to Monica there. So I tried to use my energy to get myself to be able to do that again. And at the time, I realized something that could have helped. Since Monica has a bit of her powers still remaining, I tried to bring her back with her help. But it didn't work, and I was unable to continue doing it the way I've been doing for the rest of the day. It left me very frustrated. But that's not the main reason why I'm telling you all this. Monica wanted me to tell you a message from her. She misses you, and she's very sorry for what she caused you. Aw, that's so sweet of her! If you say that she's the one who brought us together, then she can't be a bad person. I want to forgive her when she'll be able to talk to us again. At least she knows what she did was wrong. But she shouldn't be the club president anymore. You really think so? Come on, Natsuki. I'm sure that she would do better this time. Yeah, I agree. Look at what I did, and I'm the club president right now. At least you didn't want to hurt us. Monica didn't want to hurt us either. I should have done more for her, and when we wanted to, it was too late. So if I can be the club president after everything, so can she. Uh, but does she still want to be the club president? Honestly, I'm not even sure. And it's certainly not as important as taking her time to make up with each other. I really want to do something for her after I bring her back. There's also a lot I want to have a conversation with her about. But all I can do for now is try succeeding. Barian, if you ever change your mind about us helping you, don't be afraid to tell us. Yeah, I want to help Monica too! I know that it's dangerous, but I really want to do something for you! Guys, I understand, I really do. But what is there that you can do? What if you could teach us how to use powers like you? That would take a really long time. But... Maybe you're right. What if this is the only way we have a chance to succeed? Well, I'll consider it all right. One last thing I want to tell you. Sayori will have an appointment tomorrow and I'll be there with her. Meaning that we won't come to the club meeting tomorrow. Sorry about that. I understand, Borian. And I hope you get better soon, Sayori. Don't worry, Yuri. Borian will be there with me. Haha, <laughs> there's no way I would ever let you go through that alone. I love you, Sayori, and I'll gladly take a day off so that you'll feel more comfortable. Do you need someone to take care of the work for you? You're able to take care of it? Sure. I would really appreciate that, thank you. Oh, and before I forget, Yuri, could you talk to me and Sayori for a while? You need something from me? Kinda. I'll go read manga, see you guys later. See you later, Natsuki. So what did you want to tell me, Borian? I want to have a conversation with you after we leave, and Sayori wants to go with us this time. But what do you want to talk to me about? All sorts of things, but especially about how you've been doing. It's very important to me to know how you're handling it, as self-harming is a big deal after all. Thank you for taking care of us like you do, Borian. I've been doing much better since I opened up to you. Well, you opened up to me because I knew about it already. It does feel a little unfair that you didn't have an option at all. No, I'm really fine with it. I could have hurt myself much more if you didn't know. Yuri is right. All of us would still be hurting right now if you didn't know about it. I can't deny that. But without you, I would still be between people who only see me as a threat. They respect me out of fear more than they do for protecting our home. And all I can say is that I'm comfortable here and I really don't mind helping you all get through such difficult problems. Oh, but what about you, Borian? You've been 
trying so hard for Monaco all alone. I'm used to it, but I would definitely appreciate some help with the work I have to do. Leave it to me. All right, we'll be going to my house as usual. I hope you don't have anything important on your schedule, Yuri. I don't think I have anything besides homework. Sounds good to me. Then let's go. I think we could stay here and make yourself at home. We sit down on the couch. So, I wanted to know how well you've been healing, Yuri. You mean my scars? They're still visible, but most of them are almost completely healed. I'm glad to hear that. Say, have you told anyone else besides us about this? No, you're the only ones who know. I don't want to tell my parents or anyone else. That's okay, Yuri. You don't have to if you don't feel like it. Yeah, so you're always right. How you feel is the most important, and we'll do what we can to help you. And don't hesitate to tell us if it ever gets worse, alright? Don't worry, I won't. But I wanted to ask you about something that concerns me a little. Something that concerns you? You told us that you protect your city the best. No, but you're not here and er, there anymore. So does that mean that it's in danger? You don't have to worry. My friends are strong enough to protect it. And I do believe that this was better for everyone. They don't have to be afraid of me anymore, and I'm in a place where I feel loved. How can they still fear you after everything you've done for them? I have powers that can destroy their entire world, and nobody could stop me if I decided to do so. I'm kind of surprised you guys aren't afraid of me for the same reason. It doesn't matter if I want to protect it or not, as long as I have these powers, then I'll always be feared. But I knew that a long time ago, so it doesn't bother me. I'm just really glad that I can be here with you all, or you all now. Being around friends who aren't afraid of me really warms my heart. And what about you two? How have you been doing together? As great as always, Siori is really nice to me and makes me feel appreciated. She's really the best girlfriend I could have ever asked for. <laughs> oh, Borian! That's nice to hear. I won't lie to you, Borian, I was a little jealous before. But I don't feel like that anymore, and I'm really happy for you too. I appreciate how honest you are. Believe it or not, but Monica used to be way more jealous than you were. Oh, that's right, I haven't told you that yet. Back then, she confronted Sayori and said a lot of mean things to her. She wanted to get rid of her a lot, but couldn't do or couldn't as I was protecting her. Is that really true? Yeah, it is. But it's not just her. This was partially my fault, too. I should have spent more time with her than I did. She can't force you to love her, Baryan. It's your choice who you want to be with, not hers. You're right about that. But even if what, was, or what she said to Sayori was wrong, she doesn't deserve to feel the way she did. We wanted to help her and support her after you all found out how serious her case is. But unfortunately, the other day she changed the world's reality because she couldn't handle it anymore. How did she even get those powers in the first place? To be completely honest with you, I don't even know. This world used to be a game, and she was its admin, you could say. She was able to manipulate with all of you and the world as well. Well, all until I came and made it impossible for her to do so. That's really scary. What would happen to us if it wasn't for you? I don't want to tell you. Knowing this hurts me every time I remember it, and I don't want you to hurt because of it, too. You're so thoughtful, Borian. I really appreciate having you in the club. Yuri, you two are going through problems that are difficult enough. I wouldn't want to make it worse by telling you all the awful things that would happen to you. What matters is that you're safe with me, and I'll protect you from anything. But what if there's someone out there stronger than you? I know that nobody in my world is, and our world is the only one we know of where people have powers. But it's true that I can't take out the possibility of someone stronger than me being out there. In any case, if someone will try to harm you, then I'll protect you. But we don't have to worry about that. What's important now is getting Monica out of wherever she is. To think that she's been there all alone this whole time, ever since I brought the world back. Oh, was that when I introduced you to the club? Yeah. And that was longer than a month ago. She's been trapped somewhere for longer than a month? Poor Monica. I can't even tell how much it hurts me to know that I'm the one who caused it. And what's worse is that it might happen to me again. If it does, then I need you to stop me. How can we do that? I, I don't know. But I'll try my best to never have to put you into that spot. What I did to Monica won't ever leave my memory, and if I would hurt all of you again... Don't worry, Lorian. I'm here for you, okay? We're all here for you. 
Tell us if you'll ever start feeling worse. I'll always keep that in mind. Thank you two a lot. But do you two want something to eat? I can bring some food from my house. It wouldn't take me too long. Sounds pretty good to me. I would like to have something to eat. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright. Brian. Yeah? Did Monica know about problems, or our problems like you did before we told you? I've never told you that, did I? Yeah, she knew about it, and she even wanted to make your case worse. It would push you so far that... Uh, never mind that. What I meant to say is that she wanted to make your cases worse so that you wouldn't be able to handle it anymore. We both know how much feelings can affect us, and that was exactly why she was doing this. You felt the need to cut yourself when you felt intense feelings. Hatred made me destroy this world and everyone with it. And Monica was jealous and scared, which made her see no other way but to hurt you all. Was she jealous of you? She was mostly jealous of Sayori. At first I thought she hated me because I was preventing her from doing anything. But I realized that because I made this world independent, nothing could harm her anymore. And then she grew more feelings towards me. So she hated Sayori a lot because of that. I'm sorry to hear that, Borean. Sayori must have felt awful when she found out about that. She did, trust me. Who wouldn't after they find out that their friends is jealous of them? I've never had such a case, but I know that it hurt her a lot. And I'm really glad that you're so understanding about this, Yuri. I don't want to make this harder for you two. Sayori has been dealing with depression for so long. And you were treated so horribly by people you protected. So I want to support you two as much as I can. Sayori would really appreciate hearing this from you. Oh, I actually wanted to know something from you. So if you remember how I said that Sayori and I won't show up to the club meeting tomorrow because she'll be attending therapy. Uh, do you have anything planned aside from the work you offered to help with? I have something on my mind, but I don't know if it's a good idea. What are you thinking of? I want to spend some time with Natsuki and take her somewhere. But what if she'll refuse to go? <laughs> That's sweet of you, Yuri. Don't be afraid of doing that. I know for sure that Natsuki wants to talk to you. We argued a lot in the past. And I want to make up for that, but I'm worried that I'll mess everything up between us. Yuri, I believe that you're able to do it. Remember one important thing. Always be yourself. Natsuki will appreciate what you want to do for her. You really think so? I know so. In the end, it's all up to you what you'll decide to do. All I'm saying is that if you want to talk to her, don't hesitate and make that step. If you believe in me, then I know I can do it. That's what I wanted to hear. We hear someone open the front door and turn around to see that Sayori's there. Or here. She barely manages to close the door due to how much food she's carrying. I'm back! I see that you weren't holding back with the amount of food. <laughs> I wanted to make sure there's enough for everyone. Well, you certainly didn't fail at that. Alright, now that you're both here, do you have any plans for the weekend? I don't think I have anything. We can have a sleepover! I'm down to that. It would be great if Monica could be there, too. Maybe I'll be successful this time. We could prepare something nice for her. Yeah, if I manage to bring her back, then I want to make up for everything that happened in the past. And your sleepover idea might just be the best way to do that. I could make her some tea if she likes it. Knowing that we care about her will make her feel better. And that can be done in many ways, even just by making her tea. So you could do that, yeah. So what kind of food does she like? I'm not really sure about that. We've never had a conversation about it. But if I recall correctly, she's a vegetarian. So giving her meat wouldn't be a good idea. Okay, I'll remember that. Alright. Well, I guess that's all settled then. So best of luck to you tomorrow, Yuri. What are you talking about? Well, you see, Yuri wants to take Natsuki somewhere and talk to her more. It's because of how they argued in the past and she wants to make up for those times. Aw, oh, Yuri, that's so nice of you. I'm sure that Natsuki wants to do the same for you. Exactly. But I get that you don't want to do something that could upset her. Just keep in mind that you have nothing to worry about as long as she knows your intentions. Yes, you're right. I'll do my best. She'll be happy that you want to take her somewhere. So don't be scared to ask her, okay? Yuri lets out a deep breath and nods in response. Alright, then it's about time to go. See you at the sleepover. See you there. So, did you enjoy that? Yeah, it was 
fun talking with Yuri. Haha, <laughs> I agree with you. She's so gentle and kind. Just look at what she wants to do for Natsuki. It has to be really difficult to take that step for a shy person. And speaking of such, what about you? Are you ready for tomorrow? I'm a little nervous. It's easy on me to talk to you about it, but it's so much worse telling that to someone I don't know. Yeah, I thought so. I wouldn't even agree to such a thing. It really fascinates me that you were willing to do this. So despite my thoughts on this, I'll be there with you. And if you'll always want me to be there, then that's fine too. I don't mind if you'll never decide to go there by yourself, just as long as you feel better that way. Borean, I can't express how thankful I am to you for this. You don't have to, I see that you are. But this is all for tomorrow, so we don't have to think about it now. Do you have any homework to do? Just a little bit. Bring it here, I'll help you with it. She smiles and hurries to bring her homework to the living room. After a small nap, I make it outside as quietly as possible. There, she should still be asleep. I saved a lot of energy for this, or for this time, so I have to bring her back now. I barricade the door and get into my usual position. Now I gotta do better than ever before. They all believe in me, so I have to. Suddenly I hear a sound of someone walking in the corridor. Hmm? What the hell? Why would someone be here at this time? I get quiet and use my focus to see if I recognize them. After recognizing the auras, I remove the barricades from the doors. It's them! Guys, what are you doing here? We want to do something to help! I know we don't have powers, but I can't stand doing nothing! Whatever we can do, let us do it. There has to be something we can do for her. You've been trying every day while helping us with our problems! But it's fair if we help you now! You really insist on doing this, don't you? You knew that there's nothing much you can do, yet you still came here. And I, can tur er, I can't turn. I can turn you back after that. Connecting with your wills to bring the world back was rather easy, but we can't do that in this case. As ridiculous as it sounds, bringing someone back is much more difficult than changing the world's reality. So all I can do is to try it by using an indirect power to connect with you, but that's unlikely to work. That's okay, just tell us what to do. Why are you crying? I need you to stay a little further away and barricade the doors. I'll do that. Yuri leaves to barricade the doors and Sayori and Natsuki back away from me. It's done. Perfect. Then I can begin. I release the highest ascension of my powers and use them to connect with their wills. This feeling is almost identical to the one I had when I brought the world back with them. The connection makes me feel different. This distance should be fine. But if it starts feeling intense, go further away. It would be difficult for me to know, so I trust you all that you know what to do if it comes to that. This, this feels a lot different from all of my previous attempts. What does that mean? I'm not sure what to make up from it myself. Huh? I... I feel like I'm getting closer. No holding back now. Hmm? I'm... I'm altering the reality. This is the closest I've ever felt. Does this mean that it works? I can't tell, but I have to continue. that's coming out has never been this powerful. Monica, this might just be it. Keep going, Brian. The reality is changing. I can feel her. Hmm? 
No way. 